Once you've established your account, you can then click on Editor. Once we enter the editor, we'll be able to create a LAMP, which is a Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP stack. So the first thing we need to do is actually give our server stack a name. So I'm just going to call it stack. And then we need to pick the type of stack we want to build. Because we're trying to make a LAMP, we're actually going to be looking at a PHP type server for our dynamic websites. So we're going to head down to PHP. We want to use a Linux version, which so we're going to use the Ubuntu version. And you notice that in this build of the server on code anywhere, we've actually got the Apache PHP MySQL and PHP MyAdmin. Now PHP MyAdmin is going to be very important to manage our MySQL. So this is the server we want to select. So I'm going to select that. We're not going to have it always on, on the free accounts account, do that. And we're going to click on create. Code Anywhere will now generate the server stack for us and you'll actually see the stack deployed over in here. Once this is completed, you'll actually see a page. Once the server is built, you notice that we're given some stack information or our stack container information. In this case here, we can have two gigabytes of storage. It actually gives some information about the server itself. And as we go through, you can actually see the different types of connections, but the main one we're gonna be worried about in the next coming videos is the PHP MyAdmin connection, which is the one down here. So what we wanna do with our stack, first of all, is we wanna right mouse click this and we wanna create a folder. And in this folder, we're gonna have this as documents. And I'm gonna click on OK. So this is creating a subfolder inside a stack. And then we're gonna create a file inside that folder. Now this file is gonna be admin. And we're gonna click on OK. And what we wanna do is actually store the information about our web server. So the first thing I'm gonna do is pick this up. So I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in the new document that I just created. So that if I need this link again at a future stage, I can actually reference that. It is a good idea to actually go here and create a shortcut, but we'll cover that in a new video. So that's how you can actually create your web server and your web stack. And the best thing about Code Anywhere that if I close all these, I can save these, and as I close them, if I ever need the document again, I can always come into stack. You can open up the folder, double click that, and get the information that we stored before. So we're ready now to create our very first dynamic website.